Well, SELA voters will be voting on a tax level in the coming primary election, but what's it for? John Franklin has the answer. If this levy does not pass it on the August 6th ballot, we do not have the funds necessary to open in 2025 and beyond. See the voters will be able to decide the future of their pool in the upcoming primary. The voters approved a bond to build this facility in November of 2015, and we're so proud of the facility that was built with that $6.2 million of voter support. You see the facility behind me. The aquatic center was opened in 2019. This beautiful facility just constructed would sit closed. We do not have, I cannot emphasize enough, we do not have the operational revenue to open in 2025 and beyond. Attempts to pass a levy for the pool have been tried four times in the past, in 2017, 18, 19, and 21. We are currently operating on a $200,000 donation from a single family, Bruce Buchanan's family here in, in Sela an extraordinary act of generosity. The facility hosts a variety of events, such as community water aerobics, swimming classes, lifeguard training, open swimming, and the Sea of the Dolphins swim team, among others. But this is the community's pool, and we need the community to support operations going forward. The proposed property tax levy would take seven cents per $1,000 of property value. If you own a $300,000 house, you would only pay $21 per year, less than $2 a month. We know there's a super majority of support for the pool and we think seven cents per thousand is a reasonable ask to keep this beautiful facility open. Reporting in CELA for Action News, I'm John Franklin. And on your screen right now is how the question will appear on your ballot if you live and vote in CELA. You will be asked to fill in a bubble on the yes or no side. They need 60% of people to vote yes for this to pass.